first start to finish build. Ooh. But I'm super fucking excited because I get to actually drive my truck. Woo! 10 inch McGoy's lift kit with the fifth tire. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm pretty excited today because I get to show you guys the first start to finish build here at the new shop. So, we have a 2020, either a 2020 or 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's that metallic gunmetal color that we are going to be throwing a seven to nine McGoy's lift kit on. We got some 24 by 14, I believe some candy red fuels that are going on it and some 37s, I'm pretty sure. So, this build, flagship for the start to finish on the channel i'm pretty excited this is the first one like i said that's coming in the shop stock as you can see it and i'm going to be able to film it through the process and show you guys the finished product now what's done to the truck already not too much it's a pretty stock build chrome front bumpers we got some stock 17s the only thing that i have noticed that you guys probably saw yesterday is we got the penetrator on here it's actually the same one that i have on my truck i just don't have the extra extension in here mine just has the uh the normal nine inch penetrator. This one, this one's like 12 or 13 inches. It's 12 or 13 inches, it's freaking massive. The only other things that I've noticed is we've got the red letters on the back back here, which I think is a, a pretty nice little accent. Definitely complements the gunmetal blue gray color pretty nicely. But we've got the, uh, the normal four door. It looks like we've got a note in there. The boys lift kit. Fuel Tritons. Yeah, so we, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're actually, we actually have a fifth wheel here for this truck because he wants one mounted in the back. So we're gonna have five wheels and tires for the Silverado. Not something you see very often. So we're gonna get this in today or uh, I can't remember if it's coming in today or tomorrow. It will be done this week. So I'm gonna document throughout the process, show you guys some of the installs. So you show you guys the parts and stuff as they go on. And uh, I, I'm pretty excited for this one. Like I said, it's the first time I'm able to do this on the channel. So. Stay tuned. I want to show you guys a little sneak peek of these wheels before everybody gets here, just so we can see what they look like before they go on the truck. Like I said, they're a candy red fuel Triton. 24 by 12s, not 14s, I was wrong. 24 by 12. Uh-oh, little sneak peek. Ooh, okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. I don't know. I don't know whether this is gonna look good or if it's gonna look weird having those bright candy red wheels. Let me get down before I bust my face open. I don't know if having those bright candy red wheels and the gunmetal blue accents is gonna be nice or the gunmetal blue truck is gonna be nice or if it's gonna look weird. But either way, we're gonna find out because it's what the customer wanted. It's definitely official now. Keys were in the drop box. Time to get started. I'm really digging the uh, avalanche sitting out here. Kind of dirty, but you got the XF off-roads with the black face, red barrel. It's got the floating caps, Brandon. I'm fucking with it. I like it, I like it. Twenty fours and gladiators turned out damn good, especially in the light. Oh, let's get this bread! Let's get this bread! <laughs> I think, I think, I think Brandon likes the wheels too, huh? <laughs> So while we're getting the blue truck finished up today, we got another Silverado came through with the McGoy's lift kit. Seven to nine, black face plate. Some hostile wheels with the red spike lugs. Nitto Terra grapplers. Nitto Terra grapplers. Beautiful, beautiful truck. We got the move bumpers, front and rear. The rigid light bars. 
I mean, I'm telling you, the perfect combo. Mongoy's lift kit, hostile wheels, Nitto tires. Literally does not get any better than that. Just a clean, simple setup. Customer dropped off this uh, Duramax for us this morning. Probably like a six, seven inch. Then you got the old cat eye over there. Looks pretty good with the gladiators. I don't want to give you guys too much of a look yet, but they got it all together yesterday. I'm gonna show it to you in the dark, give you a little sneak peek. Oh man. Jimmy, this truck looks good as hell. Can't wait to show you guys this in the sun, but wait, 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 wait. Y'all haven't seen the best part. Y'all haven't seen the best part. Look. Y'all haven't seen the best part. That's all I'm gonna show you. That's all I'm gonna show you. Y'all remember this truck from yesterday? And the Avalanche? Country music playing in here, what the hell? I know it doesn't seem like much, but I'm super fucking excited because I get to actually drive my truck to the gas station today. <laughs> it doesn't seem like much, obviously, but I actually get to drive it and leave the parking lot today. Crank that baby up. Woo! Woo! Uh-oh. Don't hit the curb. Don't hit the curb. Woo! Now hopefully I don't tear the drive shaft or anything out of this thing. I gotta put some gas in it though, so I don't really have a choice but to drive it. I've been told by a couple different people I could probably drive this home if I wanted to. Nothing that bad would actually happen. But I'm not gonna chance it. I really don't feel like taking that chance, especially because I drive about an hour and a half home and 50 minutes to work, depending on traffic. So I really don't want to chance it. Woo! Your boy is sliding today, baby! Y'all don't know how hype I am. I literally haven't driven this thing out of the parking lot, which is like 30 feet from door to parking spot in like a month almost now. Finally got it finished up. Damn, this thing turned out really good. 37 inch gladiators, 24 by 12 fuels, the red fuels, 10 inch McGoy's lift kit, one of the last 10 inch kits that they're making for these trucks. With the red accents, we got the red bullet antenna penetrator with the red decals. My favorite part about this truck right now, we got the big McGoy's logo on the back with the fifth tire and the carrier. I mean, this thing turned out absolutely amazing. FTS upper control arms. Beautiful. God damn. God damn, huh? My man's shitting on him now. Hang on, oh shit. I was a little skeptical about the the like gunmetal blue and the red, but it turned out really, really good. I love this. Oh. They barely had to trim anything off of it either. There's not a lot of trimming done. Looks great. Now you need some 5% windshield tint. Uh, uh, I'm about to order the, uh, the black and cover that up. Bow tie? No, the whole thing, the whole black, everything. I hope you guys are enjoying the content right now. That truck turned out so freaking amazing. That truck is beautiful. Jimmy, you got a beautiful truck. I absolutely love it. Thank you for coming by and spending time with us and letting us build your dream truck. 
You guys know what the deal is. Southern Tire, we're up here making a bunch of content, selling a bunch of lift kits, and we're doing some awesome, awesome stuff. Big show coming up next weekend. If you guys don't know about it, HB Roland Show is in Kennesaw next weekend. Make sure you guys uh, go find that out on my Instagram. I'll be posting a couple things this week about it. See you guys next time. Let's get this bread. Get this bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.